Hello, so in this video I'll be showing off a cool uh, supplement I got from the Netherlands. It's called Lion's Mane Mushroom, also known as Herisium erinaceus in Latin, and Yamabushi Take in Japanese. And so this is an edible mushroom with medicinal properties, and it's quite popular in Asia as a health food. And so this uh, mushroom is commonly known for its um, beneficial effects on the neurons in the body, specifically it, uh, it promotes the neurogenesis of neurons, the the growth of new synapses for neurons and the myelination of neurons and so more synapses means um, more uh, the neurons connect to each other better the myelination means that the neurons are able to send uh, signals from one uh, one another a lot better and keep those signals from being lost and fi finally neurogenesis means that the you know ne neurons grow um, grow a lot better and so if you take if you take a look at the specific constituents of lion's mane, there's a three interesting substances you'd want to take a look at. One of them is called beta D glucans, and this is a type of polysaccharide that uh, balances the immune system, that is good for the immune system. Another one is called Harrisinonis, and another is called Arenacinus. The Harrisinonis um, is found in the fruiting body of this particular mushroom, which looks like a lion's mane, which is, you know, well, I'll go ahead and show you a picture. And Arenacinus is mainly found in the mycelium, or the rooting structures of, the, of this particular mushroom. And so Harrisinonis and Arenacinus promote or stimulate nerve growth factor in the body, and nerve growth factor is most likely responsible for all the beneficial neuronal effects of the lion's mane mushroom. And so people are, uh, you know, looking at this mushroom and seeing if it would benefit Alzheimer's, really, uh, Alzheimer's disease and stuff like that, dementia. And indeed, I found one study where these Japanese people were taking uh, Yamabushi Take or lion's mane mushroom, and um, it was found that they did their dementia did improve, and that um, benefit uh, lasted up to four weeks uh, after they stopped uh, taking the uh, supplement, the lion's mane. And so if you're looking for a very high quality lion's mane mushroom supplement, this Oriveda uh, brand looks pretty good, actually. They decided to add 50 part of the mycelium and 50% part, uh, 50 of the fruiting bodies in, in this combination because the Arenacinus is mainly, mainly found in the mycelium and the Harrisinonis is mainly found in the fruiting body and they wanted to make sure you got the benefit of both of these constituents. Also, if you know, if you'll notice, if you look at the pills, they're a nice a dark brown color, indicating that this is a better quality. Usually, a lighter color indicates a not so great quality uh, lion's mane. And if you look at the details of this particular supplement, you'll notice that they didn't uh, grow this like regular uh, lion's mane mushrooms that people grow in mass production. Uh, cheap, very cheaply, uh, which also produces a cheap quality mushroom. Usually what people do is cultivate uh, the lion's mane on grain and rice uh, like the western uh, producers. Although it ends up being cheaper if you grow it on grains and rice, the amount of the active ingredient is actually a lot less if um, in these uh, types of mar uh, mushrooms and you get a lot more starch instead. On the other hand, this Oriveda brand of lion's mane mushroom is grown on wood, which is more natural to this particular mushroom, and ends up cultivating a better, high-quality uh, mushroom that has more of its active ingredients. If you're interested, I left a link to the uh, product details in the description of this video. You can check that out if you want. And if you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye!